Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to use recurring downtime in Nagios XI. It's a pretty straightforward procedure, but first I kind of want to touch on why you would want to, uh, why would why would you want to use downtime in the first place? So, let's take a look at the recurring downtime page. It's right under Incident Management, and just kind of read through the description. So. Uh, scheduled downtime definitions are designed to repeat at set intervals shown below. So essentially when you're setting up recurring downtime, you're setting up a period of time that happens daily or maybe weekly during which you expect a host to go down and you don't want to receive alerts during that time. So in terms of uh, adding downtime, I think this is the case is best proved by going through an example. So click the hosts tab and press the add schedule button. Now we'll be defining some recurring downtime for a particular host. And, and like you see on the, uh, the previous screen, you can also do this for services, host groups, and service groups. But for the case of our example, we'll just do a single host. Now, first things first, we gotta type in the host name of a particular host that we're going to give downtime to. In my case, I know there's a server, 5.41, which is a Linux server, that goes down every morning at one o'clock to apply patches. So we type in the host name here. We have this tick box, this radio button that says include all the services on this host. Of course, all the services will go down if the host goes down, so I'm gonna leave this box ticked. In terms of a comment, you can add a comment if you'd like to, patch, patches. You can add a start time. Like I said, it's one o'clock in the morning, and since this is a 24 hour time format, just type in 0100 here. Uh, the duration of this downtime, the host comes back up pretty quickly, but just to be safe, I'll do 30 minutes. Valid months, you can select uh, a certain period of months if you'd like to, or a certain amount of months. Uh, defaults to every month if no months are selected, so I will just say uh, every month. Same with weekdays, it'll default to every weekday if none are selected, so I'm just gonna leave all of these unticked as well. And then you can comma separate the uh, days of month that this schedule is valid. I just want it to happen every day because this host does reboot every day, so every day at one o'clock, 30 minutes of scheduled downtime, and we'll submit this. So now you can see right here that we have our scheduled downtime. It happens to this particular host and all of its services. The comment is patches, and you have the time periods here. So starting today, every time it's one o'clock in the morning, this host will eff effectively not send notifications for about 30 minutes. Now, it will, however, Nagios XI will send you a notification about downtime beginning. And if you watched my notification preferences video, you'll know how to handle this. So you click on your username up here, go to notification preferences, then you can select or deselect host downtime, and you can select or deselect service downtime. So if you don't want downtime notifications, deselect both of these and press update settings. You are now good to go in terms of this server updating once every day and, uh, and doing a reboot, and you won't receive notifications during that time. And if you have any questions about what we just covered, please feel free to contact us at the support forum. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, please feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.